everyone. Just like I have promised, today's video is going to be a continuation from the last tutorial where we saw how we painted the whole painting. However, today we are going to focus only on the sunflower. So let's learn to draw a sunflower. And if you have missed out the tutorial of the barn painting, I will link that in the video description below. So check that out as well after you check that. I'm starting off with blocking the background around the sunflower which you must have uh, watched in the barn painting tutorial which I will also link in the video description below in case you have missed out and uh, I'm keeping a general look of a field barn and you can obviously change that uh, look um, as per your painting if you are only painting the sunflower and not the entire barn and sunflower painting. So starting off with the sunflower, I am using a base tone built out of cadmium yellow mixed with a little bit of yellow ochre and putting in in the flower areas. Now when I'm putting in the color for the flowers, you can see that I am starting off with the um, edges of my flat brush so that I can get thick or thin line according to my requirements. So whenever I want a thicker a line then I'm using the flat side of the flat brush and when I want a thinner line um, then I am using the edge of the flat brush. Flat brushes and filbert brushes have this advantage that you can use their flat side for larger area coverages and thicker lines and you can use their thin side or um, the edges edge side when you want thinner lines. Now, if you do not have the exact yellow, cadmium yellow and yellow ochre, it really does not matter. Just uh, get a mix of a uh, couple of shades of yellow. And uh, if, you, uh, do, if you have like a lemon yellow, which is very bright, then mix a little bit of orange or a tiny bit of a red to it uh, to make it a little bit orangish, brownish. You can also mix a teeny bit of um, raw umber or burnt sienna to get a little brownish look. This is the mid-tone that we are starting with and I laid it down very carefully. You can see that there are little areas around the flower which are not covered yet but we'll get to that later. Now I'm blocking in the leafy areas with a general tone of green. I'm using a sap green mixed with a little bit of viridian and a lot of yellow for to fill in the areas of the leaf. While filling in you don't have to be very careful just um, fill in like a smooth layer of green. Once you have it filled in then we will go into much more details. Now you can see that I'm putting in paint around the area of the flower to fill out all the little nooks and crannies around the flower. This is important because we do not want, first of all, we do not want to leave any blank canvas showing and secondly, you want to hype the contrast around the flower to get a nice look of the yellow flowers. Now, next thing I'm doing on the leaves is using the flat side of the brush and applying more color. So I'm deepening the color and going from the center out towards the edge with a darker shade of green than I have applied on the first layer. So, so initially I applied a lighter shade of green. Now I'm going with a darker shade of green and going from the middle towards the edge and that is the general rule that I'm following with the leaves. Going from the center towards the edge with sweeping motions. Once that is done, I'm coming back with a really bright yellow um, mixed with a little bit of uh, unbleached titanium white and then I'm going with the sweeping motion from outwards towards inwards and creating that highlights on the edge of the leaves. The highlights are around what it is doing is with the darkening the area, the fields or the bushes around the flower and then adding that really uh, light highlight to the leaf is making the contrast in between the leaves and the surrounding areas and that is what makes your uh, painting pop. Again, adding some more leaves to the surrounding areas in the same manner. First, a lighter green, then from center outwards, a darker green, and then from outwards to center, the very bright highlights, following the same principles throughout all the different leaves, just using 
a little bit of different shapes here to show that the leaves are going in different directions. Once again, hyping up the contrast and adding more highlights to the brighten up the leaves and make it stand out from the surrounding clumps of bushes. Now adding the center of the flower, I'm using a mix of raw umber, a little bit of yellow and a lot of purple. Once I put in the general layer of color, now I am coming with a mix of burnt umber with slight bit of um, purple in it and some yellow as well. And remember the paint is still wet. I'm working completely wet on wet. So as you are adding in petals, some of them are getting pulling the yellow color that mid-tone color that we had initially pulled in so you have to keep reloading your brush and cleaning your brush like wiping it off in a paper towel or a rag whatever you're using to keep the brush clean so that you do not create mud at this point what I'm doing is using a little darker tone than the mid-tone that I've created and creating the darker areas of the petal. To understand where to put the lights and darks, the best way possible in a realistic painting is to look into a reference photo. Look into Pixabay and sites like that where you have plenty and plenty of royalty free photos for sunflowers and just pick out any which um, has a similar shape or structure and follow the rule of thumb or follow the painting and see where the light, darker pet and lighter areas are going and that is the best way to learn to paint anything is uh, anything in a realistic manner just use a reference photo now i'm adding some light um, crimson color around the center of the flower and then darkening the complete center by adding in some more purple in the center and now I'm pulling out some of the purples in the center towards the side and hyping up the darkness at this point the leaf looks like a mess but unless you have the darks darkened enough then um, then your highlights wouldn't stand out so at this point it is and although it doesn't look very nice at this moment, it's kind of the ugly stage of the painting. So just keep working, keep on adding enough darks, enough browns and purples before you start with the highlights. Now with the highlights. For the highlights, I am choosing a cadmium yellow mixed with a lot of unbleached titanium white. And it, it gives you a very, very bright yellow. And notice how I am keeping it only to any one side of the petal. I'm coming from outwards towards inwards or inwards towards outwards. And you have to keep on reloading your brush time to time so that your paint does not get muddy. As soon as you see that it's getting dark, wipe off the brush and reload your paint with fresh, bright paint so that your highlights really look light against the darker surroundings. You can see that as I'm adding those highlights, adding, as I'm adding this um, brighter shades, how it is starting to pop out, how the sunlight is starting to look so bright against the greens and the purples and the browns in the surrounding areas. Now adding some highlights on th in the center of the flower and here I'm kind of um, mixed uh, like a flesh tone like color um, mixed with yellow and red with a lot of unleashed titanium white. Um, notice that I am continuously mentioning unleashed titanium white. Unless absolutely necessary I often use unleashed titanium white and do not use titanium white because titanium white is really really bright so unless it is like a white thing that I'm painting I try not to use unleashed uh, um, a titanium white only I use it in case of very white bright white highlighted areas so that now adding a little more of the uh, highlights with uh, adding a little more unbleached titanium white here and there and making the lighter areas really pop, the brighter areas, a little bit of leaf here and there. 
and see what I'm continuously doing is going around the edges of the sunflower petal and darkening the areas behind the flower really well so that the lighter petals stand out pop out against the dark background that is very something very important about painting anything if your background is light if your background is dark then your foreground or the subject should pop out with enough highlights and vice versa if you have a very light background then you need to add enough dark colors to make that contrast contrasts are very important to make the painting um, look bright you want to guide the viewers eyes to the brighter areas lighter areas to the subject matter and that is how you will choose where to put the highlights so that the viewers eyes go to those areas or and pop out from the surrounding areas and that is the final sunflower part I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned a thing or two give me a thumbs up if you like it and do not forget to subscribe